So we've been hiking for about 30 minutes now through snow that's probably about two, two and a half feet deep. So we have to use these things called snowshoes, which kind of disperse our weight across the snow and make it a little bit easier to walk. Right now we're heading up to Grandpa Jerry's cabin, which is my grandpa. And this is Jerry's daughter right here, who just so happens to be my mom. And we're gonna go check on the cabin. Because if you remember about six months ago, back when it was warmer and not snowing outside, I came here and we mouse proofed it because the mice had been taking over for the last 20 years and uh, we kind of wanted our cabin back. So let's go check it out. summer we took four days and completely sealed up the cabin from any mice entries possible and so now we're gonna go in because it's winter and mice like warm things just like anybody else and we're gonna see if they've reclaimed any territory So one thing that they've done since I was here last is they put in new flooring. So this is some kind of vinyl flooring that they laid down. Remember when I was here in that last video, we just had the cement. We ripped up all the carpet and then put the carpet outside. And I think this vinyl stuff is working out pretty well. It looks really good with the cabin. So this is that back room. This is where I had the cutout of the drywall. So they painted over that. And it looks like they added some texturing too. We got the baseboard. I don't think I touched the baseboard at all when I pulled that piece of drywall out to check for the mice. And then over here inside of the bathroom, this is where we had the biggest problem. And we didn't actually seal this up yet because we put the concrete, we sealed up that hole that led to the outside. And then we pulled out some of the ceiling. We pulled out the shower. We left that out because this was like the worst spot. So we weren't going to seal it up until we were sure all the mice were gone. We have some of our leftover construction supplies. And I don't see any sign of mice droppings yet. Mouse droppings, whatever you call them. And here's a mouse trap we left inside of the house to see if there's any more mice coming in with peanut butter. Mice actually like peanut butter, side note. And there is zero mice in the trap. So this mouse trap works by the mice going inside of that little hole right there and they can walk up that ramp. But then as soon as they're inside, they can squeeze themselves out this side of the hole where the ramp kind of goes down like that. They squeeze themselves through, get the bait, and then they just can't get back out again. And so if you remember in the last mouse trap, this thing was just full of dead mice. Which means I think we were successful. That four days of renovation got rid of all the mice. We were victorious, we reclaimed our territory, and they're not coming back. They repainted all of this. Over here, we had to pull out some of the wall because we found a hole from the outside coming in. And so right here, looks like we've got to touch up that plug a little bit. But this has all been repainted. The inside of the closet looks good. And we have the fireplace here. And this is where we had a bunch of leaks coming out of the ceiling. There was kind of like running down the back. And you have to watch that other video to kind of understand some of what I'm talking about. But we took down all the drywall up here and all the way down the back side of it, all the way down around the base. And it looks like there's no more leak coming out of the top of there, which is good. I'll have to fly my drone around the roof of the cabin and see if that black stuff is still solid. I can get my drone pretty close to it and it's in 4K so we can zoom in pretty far. I'll put that footage here and we can check the actual black waterproofing stuff around that base. So this is that ladder I watched my grandpa build back when I was a little kid. It's got little handholds here that you can climb up. And this is the attic with that carpet I showed you outside on the fence in the last video. This is the attic area. 
We're probably just gonna throw away these mattresses. They were back in here when the mice were overrunning the cabin. So one fun little trick, if you have chocolate covered cookies, these are actually called Tim Tams, and you bite off either side of the end. You can use it as a straw. And then the whole cookie gets soggy, so good. I think the flooring option is actually a really good choice. We've got a little bit of carpet here, these are just like the carpet squares. And then the vinyl flooring is more of like a plastic instead of an actual piece of wood. So it's gonna last a lot longer. We can sweep it. And plus if snow gets on it, it's not gonna be damaged very easily like normal wood would. Ha, wood, wood. So if you remember one of the main entry points for the mice was underneath this wood pile, like they were getting in under that shower. And you can still see at the base of the house here, we have that wire grate and we have the sealant that we have sticking it to the concrete. Then one of the other big entry points was right here on this corner. And it looks like we're still solid. No holes. It looks like the mice haven't been able to get in anywhere. So I think we were successful. So if you're wondering why the heck we were using snowshoes that whole time, it's because when you're walking in the snow without them, you go up to your knees, and that's not very easy to walk in. <laughs> Those shoes make it so much easier. So I think Operation Save the Cabin was a complete success. Super stoked about it. If you go back and watch the other video, we were finding mice in the walls, in the ceiling, mice droppings everywhere. It was insane. So I'm super glad that we were able to take back the cabin, and now it's safe and sanitary for everyone to use. And by everyone, I mean my family. So thanks for watching this follow-up video. It's definitely good to know that all our hard work paid off. I think Jerry would be pleased with the Jerry rigging that we've done with this cabin. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this, and if you want to see more projects like this in the future. Thanks a ton for watching, and I'll see you around.